tutorial is going to show you how to install Visual Studio Code um, on your workstation. So if you go to our class website under links, um, you should have a link there to Visual Studio Code or you can just simply Google it. Visual Studio Code is an integrated development environment. Um, these are specifically designed for programmers. Um, they can do a ton of fun features um, and they're very useful to us as programmers. Once you get to the website, um, I'm using a Mac, so it says download for Mac. Uh, if you're using a PC, it'll say something different. Follow the prompts to get that installed on your computer. Once you get Visual Studio open, there's some setup things that we need to do to ensure um, that you can use some of these fun features that are super, super useful to us in the classroom. Uh, you have a gear shift down, or not a gear shift, just a gear, in the lower left hand corner. So click that and the first thing we need to do is go to extensions. The first extension that I want you to search for is open in browser. This will allow us with a keyboard shortcut to test our code in a browser. Choose this tech ER and see I already have it installed but you will have a button there that says install. Um, it may ask you to restart code. Uh, if so, do it, but otherwise just open this. So in this case, Alt B will be our shortcut. When we are looking at code, then we can open it in a browser very quickly and see the changes that we've made. There are some other extensions there. Um, if I can go back to what I have installed. One that I really like is this code spell checker. Um, it's not 100% accurate as far as checking your spelling of the content that you type, um, but sometimes it can be a little useful. So if you're interested in that, you're welcome to install that as well. Um, many people like to personalize their Visual Studio code. So you can go again to the gear shift, um, the gear, not the gear shift, um, and go to your color themes. Um, there are light themes and dark themes. Um, you can also install additional color themes. Just be aware that if I'm checking or looking at your code, um, I don't want to see like, you know, I, it needs to contrast well. Um, so make it easy on yourself, but you can play around with this. I like this um, Monica Dimmed is my favorite, but um, feel free to play around. It's fun to change things up. Um, another thing, and you can't see this on my um, computer because it won't let me fully show that, but while you have code open, if you click the file tab at the top, you should see something that says auto save. This is a really useful feature because as you type, it will automatically save your code and you don't have to remember to save it each time. So as long as that's check marked, whatever you type, it will auto save. Super, super helpful. Um, one more thing, as we are using Visual Studio Code, what, what is great about this is you don't have to open all of your files separately. You can open entire folders and then all your files will appear in this pane, which you can hide um, and show again. So I'm going to open a sample website uh, from the textbook. And notice all the files that are associated with this website, including any images that I have, are there. I can open multiple documents and switch between the different tabs. Um, I can use split screen to see multiple code samples at one time. And then I also have this option when I have really long code, um, I can just click in those areas instead of scrolling. It kind of helps you troubleshoot and things like that. So those will be your best friends as we first get um, started. So make sure that you kind of know how all of that works um, and you have all those important things set up. Okay.